Hey there everybody, Jason here, and today I wanted to do a little bit of a game review. Uh, this one is Super Mario RPG, and if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I've been playing through this recently. Um, this probably will show up after I've actually uh, posted the final uh, episode, I believe so. Yeah. Anyway, I kind of want to do a little bit more reviews on the games that I actually complete on channel, just talking about like my experience with, with them and how I feel about how uh, they played. Uh, so the first one, obviously, being Super Mario RPG. This is how this is done by Nintendo uh, with uh, Square, and basically it takes the Mario world and puts it into an isometric level design, uh, turn-based uh, action battle uh, setup RPG, and it was a lot of fun. Um, it took it took me about like 30 hours to play through it. Um, it wouldn't be what I would consider extremely difficult. I think I died on bosses maybe three times, and I spent an hour and a half grinding in between uh, parts of the final episode, and that's really about it. Uh, so it definitely is one of those games where if you go from beginning to end without looking for all the extra stuff, you're probably going to be okay. And, e and even if you don't, you can get to the end boss, and then there's a place to grind right there uh, that'll help you get those next couple levels that you need to actually finish them, um, which is more than I can say for a couple other games, like uh, for instance, uh, Final Fantasy VIII, multi-disc game, uh, loved that game, had a lot of fun playing it, but then I got to the third disc and there's a boss right there, and I couldn't beat him, or her, I think it was a her, I'll just say it, I couldn't beat it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but there was no way for me to go back to another disc to grind. There was nothing that I could do except fight that boss. And so basically I had to give up. Uh, so having that sort of thing inside a game like this is actually very nice. It's very forgiving. Um, I do want to go back and play through the rest of the game and actually find all the things that I was missing. But I think I'm going to do that another time when it's sort of a little bit uh, less fresh in my mind. I'm not saying that it's any sort of terrible. I just want, I want the experience to be less... Uh, less polluted by my current playthrough. Uh, but that's really about it. It's a great game if you want to see where the Super, like the Mario RPG series basically started. I'm a huge fan of Paper Mario. I even like the uh, Mario and Luigi um, Superstar Saga games. Not my favorite, but I have played through a couple of them and they're a lot of fun too. I mean, the humor that they put inside these games, I know that they're done by completely different companies, but it's, a, it's really good. It's kind of funny to see like all your characters in a different light. I like the fact that you actually get to have Bowser on your side. Um, it would have been interesting to see like Wario, which I feel like was Booster, uh, but you know, that <laughs> who's going to be able to complain about a game that's like almost as old as I am? Uh, actually, no, it's not. I'm about 10 years older than this game. But anyway, <laughs> if you have a chance to play this game, regardless of how it is that you play it, uh, please do. It's definitely a really good game. Um, it can be a little bit slow paced. So if you don't like slow paced turn based RPGs, then, you know, whatever, move on from this one. But I think the humor saves it and it does a really good job of making it fun. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye. This is actually the second time that I've reviewed this uh, in the last half hour. I didn't push record the first time. Moving on.